Hey guys, what's up? It's Raphael. I'm your Monday host. Normally, I'm here with Dakota for Mondays on FC Real M. Uh, but Dakota will not be making a video with me this week because he didn't really have much to say about the topic. Speaking of which, the topic is I assume packing. that everyone on the channel is more than likely going to be talking about actual packing and packers and what they use to pack, what they don't recommend or do recommend for packing, etc, etc. So, I thought that I would take a different spin on it and actually show you guys what I use when I do pack. Uh, usually I only pack at the gym because I wear like the harem style uh, jogging pants so they're a little tighter in that area and I just feel more comfortable when I pack. But yeah, I'll just show you guys um, a very cheap do-it-yourself um, homemade harness that I use for packing and you know it holds itself when I'm running on the treadmill at five miles per hour so it should be fine for any daily activities so throughout this video there is going to be me talking about how to make this harness and occasionally Which pretty I much is a room. model of a flaccid penis so if you don't want to see that then I would recommend not watching the rest of the video from here All right, so for those of you who are okay with seeing that and are interested in how to make this do-it-yourself harness here we go. So this is what it looks like as the finished product. Uh, it looks a little rough around the edges, but it gets the job done. So essentially, this is the packer, which is a Mr. Limpy, I believe the six inch. Um, I actually bought, uh, I'm borrowing this one from Dakota, which is why he hasn't packed, because he's waiting um, for his next paycheck to buy some packing boxers, because he doesn't like this style or the jock strap style, so he's gonna actually just do the boxers because it feels more um, natural to him. But I yeah, guess. so this is what it's going to look like. Um, and now I'll get into how to actually do it, and I'll show you how to do it, and then hopefully it will help you if you can afford actual harness because damn, harnesses are fucking expensive. Alright, so what you're gonna need for this uh, harness that you're gonna make yourself is an old pair of boxers, boxer briefs, or briefs that you don't like or don't wear or whatever. Um, so you can just take one that you already have, so you don't even have to pay for it. Um, so long as you already have a pair that you can use for this. Um, these are a pair of like tidy whities that I bought a while ago that I thought that I was going to really enjoy, and I don't know why, because I don't like briefs. Um, I prefer boxer briefs, so I bought like a six pack, and I don't use them, so I've been using them for harnesses. Um, so you'll also need a pair of scissors. So what you're going to do is you are going to line up the waistband. Pretty simple. And then you're just going to start cutting it with the scissors. So you're going to cut it right. Let's see if I can get in here. You're going to cut it right there at the line so that there's no cloth. Um, this one will probably be kind of a hack job just like my other one because I didn't have time to do it better. And right now, um, I mean it's just for show on the video so I'm not really going to take my time about it. But yeah, so you're just going to cut along this line. Uh, try not to cut into the actual elastic band itself on the other end. So kind of, you know, just pay attention to what you're cutting. You can kind of feel the difference whether you're going, um, whether you're cutting through elastic band or just a cloth. So it shouldn't be an issue. And we're almost done with it already. So I really hope this will help some guys out. I've gotten a couple questions about what I use for harnesses or um, I've mentioned this like cheap do-it-yourself harness and I've had a couple guys show interest in it. So this is what the finished product should look like. You can make it a little bit nicer cut if you want, you know. There's still some white stuff at the bottom, but it's not a huge deal. It's whatever. No way Alright, so what I usually do now is at where the tag is, right there. Um, it doesn't really matter where you do it, but I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so this is just where I get it done. Uh, where the tag is, right across from that, is where I will be cutting vertical and horizontal slits into the elastic bands so you just fold it over like this and you're literally just gonna cut into it like that like just a tiny little slit so it should look like this like that's it and then you're gonna go into it this way and again just a tiny slit because you don't want it to be too big of a hole because in the pack will, the shaft of the pack will slip through so uh, once it's all said and done, it should look like this. So that's literally all it is. Um, for me, I really like it because it feels a lot more natural. It's not a bunch of uh, layering, and I hate layering regardless. 
um, especially in that it's uncomfortable to me. So this is really awesome because after a couple minutes, I forget that it's even there, and it feels more. I guess it's more of a realistic feeling, which I really like. So then you're going to take your packer and your new harness that you just made, and you're going to want to stick like a couple fingers in the hole just to kind of stretch it out a little bit, but not too much. You want the packer to be able to fit in but not slip through. Um, and you'll probably have to make another one like after a couple of months of use. Um, I usually get like at least six months use out of it, but again, I only wear it to the gym. So you're just going to kind of feed the shaft into the hole like that. Um, this is a fairly simple process. You just have to pull out it a little bit. Just be careful not to tear your packer. Um, yeah, so just keep feeding it through like that. And then there you go. So you're just gonna basically put on the harness that you just made, like a pair of boxers, and then put your actual boxers up over it and position the packer however it is that you like to have it. And so yeah, yeah that's what I use for packing. Um, that's the harness I use. I make it myself. I recently bought a um, peacock harness. And I was going to use that for this video along with another packer, an uh, uncircumcised packer that I bought. But I didn't realize it was going to take for fucking ever because the harness is coming from like Korea or some shit. And the fucking packer takes like six weeks to make. So that didn't happen. Um, so I thought I'd just show what I use um, that is literally free because I have to buy underwear anyway. So yeah. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, definitely feel free to hit me up. I'll put my information down below. And if it works for you, you know, pass it on, tell other guys about it, definitely. I'm all about sharing information. And it, like I said, it gets the job done. It's not fancy, but it's super easy to make and super cheap. So I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Um, if this helped you, definitely comment or like and subscribe, as we have plenty of more topics coming, uh, which will hopefully help you guys as well. All right, cheers, guys.